Hey guys, today's video is going to be my everyday makeup drawer for the month of April. If you are new to my channel, I basically go through and show you all of the products that I'll be using throughout the month because I do like to switch it up every single month. If you guys have a free second, I would love for you to head to the comments. I'm going to pin a comment at the top with some questions on how I can improve these videos. I feel like they're getting a little little repetitive and I know a lot of you guys say you enjoy them and I appreciate that so much, but I really do wanna keep it like fun and interesting and I feel like I'm a little bored filming them so so I feel like a lot of you have to be a little bit bored watching them and I want to keep the series on my channel but improve it. So if you have any feedback for me, please check the comments below so you can kind of answer those questions or leave me feedback that you might have. So let me start with the products that I'm decluttering from my collection because I do have quite a few. So the first one is this primer from Catrice. I just feel a little bit neutral about it. I used to like it. I did really enjoy it. I don't feel like it's a bad product but I just feel like I have other primers that I constantly reach for over this one. So I just don't feel the need to keep it in my collection. It is a good affordable option, but like I said, I have other primers that I enjoy more, so there's no point in me keeping it in the meantime. Same thing with these Laura Geller highlighters. I really enjoyed them at one time, and I think I hold on to them because they are so beautiful, but honestly, I have other highlighters that I just enjoy using more than these, so I'm just going to pass them along to a friend or sister who might enjoy them more than I do because they are really beautiful products. They just don't get used very often in my collection anymore. So I was kind of on the fence about these Wet n Wild blushes when I was doing my declutter video and I like them. They're very, very nice quality. But again, you guys, like I feel like I'm just narrowing down my makeup collection this year and I don't reach for them very often. I have other blushes that I enjoy more and I don't know, like I don't wanna keep them just because they're good affordable blushes. I wanna keep them because I enjoy using them and I don't hate using them, but I just feel like I have other blushes that I like more. So I'm just going to pass them along to somebody else who might enjoy them more than I do. This eyeshadow has been in my everyday makeup makeup drawer for a few months and I never reach for it. It's a really beautiful color, but there's like something about single shadows that I don't reach for that often. I usually just grab a palette and try to create like a whole eye look using one or two palettes. So I just figured I would pass this along as well. Of course, I love the ColourPop liquid lipsticks, but the one on the left is a weird color on me. I just don't really like how it looks. So I'm going to declutter that one. And then the two on the right are expired. The formula has just changed. It's a little bit old. It doesn't last as well on the lips and it's kind of separated and I can't get it to mix back together. So I'm tossing those two. I tried to like the Grande Lips Lip Plumper. I wanted to like it because I love Grande Cosmetics, but I just don't like this color on me. I actually felt like this product kind of dried my lips out, even though it has the word hydrating in it. It just wasn't my perfect color and the product itself was a little bit drying. So I'm just going to declutter that as well. And then the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Lazy is really beautiful, but I just don't enjoy how it really looks on me. I have other nude lip glosses that I like more than this one. I have a bunch of these Buxom glosses in my collection right now, but this purple one, I don't know, it's just not my cup of tea. It's a really pretty color, but I don't usually wear like purple lip colors like this shade, so I'm going to declutter that one as well. Okay, moving on to products that I do enjoy. I'm going to keep them in my makeup collection. I'm just removing them out of my everyday makeup drawer for different reasons. So I have the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation, which I do enjoy, but you guys, this is way too dark for me. I was wearing it for like a month or two straight before I realized it's just way too dark for me. So I have to wait on this one or get like a foundation lightener because I just realized that my face was like orange compared to the rest of my neck and my body. The Hourglass Vanish Seamless Stick Foundations are some of my favorite, but I tend to reach for these more so in the fall and winter time, so I'm going to wait on these. And then same thing with these Becca primers. I don't usually reach for them as much during the spring and summer, so I'm just going to put them back into my drawer and wear them again like once fall and winter roll around. I like the purple one, and I would wear that one during the spring, but I just have other primers in my drawer that I really need to focus on using. And then the Becca High highlighter in Prosecco Pop just hasn't really been one of my go-to like everyday shades lately so I'm just moving it out of my everyday makeup drawer to make room for something else. I love the Pop Beauty highlighters. I'm actually going to talk about them in a video that's going up tomorrow but again I'm just trying to like narrow down my everyday makeup drawers so I'm just switching them out for a few months so I can try something a little bit different. I've been wearing them a lot over the past few months so I just wanted to change it up a little bit. I like the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners but I don't wear them 
them often enough to keep them in my everyday makeup drawer. I really just wear them once in a while. I do enjoy them, but like I said, they're not like everyday products for me. So I'm just going to put them back into my makeup collection for now. And then I had a bunch of palettes in my drawer that I'm just switching out for something different. I don't even know if I have close up shots of all of them because there were so many of them and I just need to change it up a little bit. I had so many palettes that I've been trying out this month that I've been using. So I just wanted to clear out the majority of them and focus on using something else because I have so many palettes in my collection and I want to make sure I use all of them. So I definitely love all of these. I will use them again. It's just time to change it up and try something different. Okay, moving on to my April drawers. So I'm going to start with face primers. The first product is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, which is something that I use every single time I do my makeup. And then I have the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer, which I'm still kind of testing out. This is the last month that I'm going to test it so I can make up my mind about it. But I feel like I've needed a more mattifying primer in my collection. So I am adding in the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I usually reach for this during the summertime, but I feel like all of my primers are really hydrating. So I want something more on the mattifying side. I have been using the Rosé All Day Oil-Free Serum as a primer, which I'm going to talk about more in tomorrow's video, but I've really been enjoying it lately. And then of course I have the Primerizer, which is my go-to. It's my absolute favorite. And I also enjoy the Hourglass Veil Primer, which is a little bit more mattifying. And then I also have the Spotlight Primer from Physicians Formula. This one is definitely a glowy primer. It's very similar to the Becca Primer, so I just took that one out of my drawer so I could really focus on using this one more. As for foundations, I need to make up my mind about whether or not I want to keep the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation this month because it's been a while since I've used it. I didn't really reach for it a whole lot last month, so I really want to focus on using this one. And I've also been using the Healthy Foundation a lot. I used this one a lot during the month of March. It's just like a good everyday staple foundation. Of course, I have my Urban Decay All Nighter, which is my go-to full coverage option. I wear the shade 0.5, which is a little bit light, but it oxidizes like crazy, so that's why I use that one. And then I have the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. I really need to try hard to finish this one up this month. I'm really dragging my feet on this one for some reason. It's just not my favorite at the moment, but I do have it in my collection and I want to make sure I get use out of it, whether I have to like mix it in with another foundation. I'm almost done with it, so I feel like I can finish it up this month if I really try. I'm basically done with this Hourglass Foundation. It's taking me so long to actually finish up like every little bit of it because once you finish up the majority of it you still have a ton of product left like down in the packaging so I am trying to use up all of it again because it is in my project pan so I'm pretty much done with this one and that's it for foundations as for concealers I do have quite a few concealers that I've been using this month the majority of them are on the affordable side but I'll go through and show you guys which ones I'm using the first one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer which is my favorite when I want full coverage I definitely prefer this one over the Tarte Shape Tape I just feel like it glides over my skin really beautifully and I I have two shades that I kind of mix to get my perfect color. I do have the Catrice Liquid Camouflage, which I'm trying to finish up. And then I also have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, which is a good or a good concealer when I want coverage, but not as much coverage as like the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's a good in-between concealer. I really do enjoy this one. I'm back to using my favorite concealer of all time, the ColourPop No Filter. They just extended their shade range, which is awesome. I love using this on days when I want light coverage, full coverage. I'll even just go in with this concealer and no foundation and wear that. I'm going to film a video on how I do that soon, but I really just love this concealer so much. Moving on to powders, I have the Essence All About Matte. This one is super, super mattifying. I think if you have dry skin, you'll want to stay away from this one, but if you have very oily skin, you might really enjoy it because it keeps my skin matte all day long. My favorite is the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. This one keeps your skin matte, but it's not quite as drying as the other one. And I feel like it's a little bit more lightweight. It just looks a little bit more natural on the skin. So this one is kind of my go-to translucent powder. Um, the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder is so nice. Again, I'm talking about this in a video that's going up tomorrow. I should have uploaded that video tonight and uploaded this one tomorrow, but I really enjoy it. It's a really nice like banana toned powder and I did 
end up finishing like the majority of the powders that were in last month's drawer if you guys saw my project pan update i have my kat von d locket powder foundation and this one is pretty much gone as well i think i'll finish it by the end of the month and then i am repurchasing another one during the vib sale because it is my go-to powder I use the Urban Decay Velvetizer to mix into my foundations and also I will use it to set my under eye concealer. For some reason it locks my under eye concealer into place really well but I don't like using it on the rest of my face. I have a little bit left of the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder, like a very, very small amount. I need to finish it this month because I just want to be done with it. I enjoy it a lot, but I just don't wear a lot of loose powders at the moment. As for bronzers, I only have two in my drawer. I have the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast, which is my go-to. I think I'll probably come close to finishing it by the end of the month. And then I also have the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer, which hasn't been my favorite. I'm going to try it out for one more month before I decide whether to keep it or declutter it. I have my Becca Cosmetics highlighters because I have them every month. They're my go-to. So I have seven different highlighters. I have three of like the regular skin perfecter formula. I can't remember the exact name right now. I'll put an overlay on the screen. And then I have four of the light chaser highlighters, which have been like my go-to. I just love these so much. And I know I rave about them all the time, but they are so beautiful and they're only $17. They've been marked down for a really long time at this point, And they're just totally worth the money in my opinion. I have the Fenty Hustla Baby Highlighter, and then I have some Catrice Highlighters, which are really nice. They're totally underrated. They're just really beautiful on the face. And then moving on to the e.l.f. highlighters that I decided to put in my everyday makeup drawer for the month of April. I have a couple of them, and I really enjoy them, and I haven't gotten use out of them for a little while, so I wanted to include them in my drawer and make sure that I really use them this month. The baked highlighters take a little bit of work, but if you can get them to work for you, they're totally worth it. You can just scrape off the top layer, and then they work really nicely. I have a my pretty vulgar blush that I got in my boxy charm that I've really been enjoying. I just go in with a light hand. And then I have my hourglass blushes because again, these are my absolute favorite. I could totally declutter all of the blushes in my collection and just keep these. I haven't done that yet because I feel like my videos would be pretty boring if I only had like three blushes to talk about. So again, this month I'm trying out the e.l.f. baked blushes. I have three different ones that are so beautiful. They're a great option from the drugstore or from an affordable brand. Okay, moving on to eye products. Of course, I have my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and my e.l.f. Matte to Metal Eye Primer Transformer. And then I have a bunch of mascaras right now. I'm finishing up the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint. I'll probably be done with this one by the end of the month. And then I have the Butter London Stroke of Wow. I just opened this one up fairly recently, so this one will last me a few months. The Essence Lash Princess is my favorite go-to everyday mascara. And then I also love the Flower Beauty Lash Warrior for just like more natural natural lash days. Not natural lash days, but it makes my lashes look really fluffy. I'm not sure how I feel about this lash primer from Smashbox. I'm going to test it out for one more month. And then I've really been enjoying the Pixi Lower Lash Mascara for my bottom lashes. So I have a couple of these Smashbox trios in my everyday makeup drawer. Nudie Pick Light, which is this one, and then Snap Queen, which is the next one, are my favorite. You guys, these are so good, and I'm so surprised. I'm adding in a few more because I enjoyed them so much. But Smashbox eyeshadows usually aren't aren't my favorite, but I love the formula of these shadows so much. I just feel like they're kind of expensive for three shadows, so I hope they take this formula and put it into their future palettes because it's a really good formula. These are the brow products that I use every single day, but I am trying out some new products in April, which I am excited about. I also picked up a couple things during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, so I will do a haul on those products, but NYX actually sent me a few products, including some of their micro brow pencils. And you guys, I am determined to figure out how to use a brow pencil. I struggle at it so much, but I really like that's my goal for 2018. So I'm excited to try these out this month and really just get the hang of them, try them out and get them to work for me. I love the Cover FX Shimmer Veil. I got this in a boxy charm, and it's just a beautiful cream shadow. And then I have two ColourPop Press Shadows. I have Dance Party, and then I'm trying out the color Sidekick this month. I took out like the majority of my eyeshadow palettes and I added in pretty much all of my ColourPop pressed powder shadows because I think it's like my favorite eyeshadow formula of all time. I have so many in my drawer, but I feel like they get neglected because I'm always testing out new palettes and I'm testing out a bunch of palettes this month, which I'll talk about in an upcoming video, but these are like the staple shadows that I wanted to have in my drawer and just kind of get more use out of them because I feel like I've been neglecting them a lot and I really, really enjoy the formula and the actual colors that I do have. 
Okay, I have these Juvia's Place palettes. You guys, I don't I don't know why I'm like not drawn to them. I've had them in my drawer. I really haven't used them. So this is the last month and I have to try them out this month or pass them along to somebody else. I'm trying out the Urban Decay Sin Afterglow palette. They just sent it my way. I haven't swatched it or anything, but it looks like a really pretty palette. I don't really have a lot of experience with Urban Decay face products other than the... Uh, what's it called? Back Talk Palette, which wasn't my favorite. So I kind of want to try this out and see if I enjoy it or not. And then I do have the Kristen Leanne Highlighting Palette in my collection, which again, I didn't use this last month. There are like certain products that I'm just not drawn to. So I really have to force myself to try them out this month because who knows, they could be my next favorite and I'm just like completely missing out on it. So I have a bunch of lip products in my drawer this month. I kind of switched up my lip product storage so I can include a ton of them every month because I love lip products and I'm really trying to like go through my collection and use them because I have so many that I really just don't get a lot of use and they kind of get neglected. So I have a bunch of Buxom glosses, which I love so much. I got these as like a holiday set. And then I have a Bite Beauty gloss that I really need to focus on using up because I've had it for a while and a ColourPop lip gloss in the shade Moon Child. Moving on to liquid lipsticks, I have have my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks, which I'm trying to use up this year. I have a bunch of ColourPop options. These are kind of like my go-to shades right now that I really enjoy, that I just love. And then I have this Tarte Lipstick, which is a little bit drying, but I like the color. And then same with the Too Faced Lipstick. They're just really drying. I don't think I'll be buying any more Tarte just because the formula is not my personal favorite, but I love the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks. I think the formula is so lightweight, so beautiful, and they have a lot of great colors. And then I have the Smashbox Lipstick in the shade Latte and the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Bear It All, which are two just really pretty go-to nudes. These are my ColourPop lippy sticks that I kind of reach for all the time. And then finishing up on top of my vanity, I have my ColourPop lippy pencils, ColourPop eyeliners, and then ColourPop palettes that I just kind of keep back there, as well as some of my go-to eyeliners. And I'm trying out the Tarte Guard this month. Okay, guys, that's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you guys have a free second, please leave me some feedback down below. I have some questions for you, or you can just kind of let me know what you like or don't like about these videos. But I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video video. Bye.